Hi everybody, my name is Tyler. I'm a friend of the great Mr. POV. Today we'll be doing a tutorial video on how to 3D print Velcro patches. So here are the supplies you'll need for this project. You will need one or more rolls of TPU. Uh, it could be whatever brand I like Overture. Um, if you are doing multicolor, you'll need multiple rolls. Makes sense. Yep. Of course. You'll need some adhesive Velcro strips. You'll need the snips, as well as some scissors, if you can be trusted with it, a box cutter, the spatula, and finally, rubbing alcohol with a wipe. As any engineer, I have to have at least three cups of coffee before I can begin. They're curing cups, so don't get carried away. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do the second you put your coffee down is turn on your printer and get the bed up to temperature. If you have an older printer like myself, you will understand, just do it right away. Next, you're gonna to wanna to clean off the bed. You can use some fancy spray. I just use rubbing alcohol and a wipe from Costco. Microfiber? Indeed. Does it have to be a microfiber or does it not matter? I've used a sponge, I've used a uh, hand towel. It, as long as it's alcohol, you're good. Good gotta enough. get it clean. Don't want any bacteria on your print. Now I'll be setting up a slicer. Um, it's just a very simple layer change at height command. Um, there are many tutorials on how to do that. Much better than I could teach you. So, because I do everything in point two when it comes to TPU, I just find the layer where it switches and choose that one. Now, we're gonna be leveling the bed, of course, being that this is a relatively small print, it's not gonna matter, but it's good practice. Also, it gives you time for another sip of coffee. This is my ship now, I'm the captain. So, while the bed is leveling, I like to pull out and per uh, bah, 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 bah. It's important that when you remove your old roll to clip the end so it's a nice clean break. Now I will be loading up the white for the base layer, of course. It's important to trim the end, you want it to be nice and clean so it goes in smoothly. Of course, you gotta get that sweet purge going. Now we'll be printing. Well, we uh, print the... You print things. Yeah, we print things. And there you go. <laughs> Since we're printing patches today, how could I how could I use some of these patches? What can I stick them on? Well, I personally love my 511 backpack. Mm -hmm. You know, the entire back panel is Velcro, so you can stack whatever you want on there. Um, as for a proper use case for patches, if you're in any team sports, you can make your own custom. Custom names. Give me your best ribbit. Ribbit. So if you're like me and your tastes are always changing, it's really nice to have a Velcro hat. Mm -hmm. You know, 10 bucks on Amazon or wherever. And you have essentially an infinite supply of hats. You know, one day you want to do one your- One day you can be going one way and the next day you're going the other way, right? Yeah. Well, good to know. You... I need some of those for my backpack. Getting my scraper. Most of the time, you can just peel it off, but sometimes if you wouldn't have... want to mess it up, though, right? Yeah. So once you trim it and get it all pretty, you're gonna to want to take your rubbing alcohol and wipe from before, and just give the backside a good clean. You know, you are working with glue, so you want a nice clean surface so it can get proper adhesion. Next, I will take the roll of Velcro, trim it to size. Usually, I give an extra five set millimeters. Sometimes you need more, sometimes you need less. See so how you go. Of course, now I will be lining up the patch with the adhesive strip. I tend to put just a little bit on the adhesive and slowly peel back the cover layer so that way I can massage it in. It's important to make sure that you put something heavy on them and let them sit. I prefer overnight, as you want the glue to set in 
and be nice and firm. Uh, for additional adhesion, I find it's best to just leave it in a hot car for a few days, and it's never coming off. So now we're just trimming off the excess Velcro, make sure it fits. You always want to give it a good once over, make sure there's no dangling bits. Once you have it all set, put that bad boy on a hat, go out and rock it.